my blow up. It's a beautiful afternoon. Well, guys, I just got off the phone with my grandpa, and he said that there is an old case lawn tractor back out here in the bushes, and I, I'm not sure where it is. I don't know. He said it was back here. He couldn't remember where he put it when it broke down, but he said it w was in like okay shape when he uh, when he put it back there, and uh, it doesn't. It doesn't run when he put it away there, so he said it was totally gone. But we're going to see if we can find it here. I'm not 100% sure where it is. I Could it be over here? He wasn't sure where he put it. Oh, is that it? Is that the old... Oh, dude, this thing's all rusted out. Oh, man. Dude, look at this thing. Look at this thing. It's all rusted out. Oh, dude. This thing's all rusted out. Huh. And these bushes are in the way. Okay, I, I have an idea. I think I'm going to go grab uh, the tractor and the bucket. And we're going to go um, try to get that thing out of there. And see what we can do with it. Because that he told me about that thing and the thing looks super cool. And he said it was... He, he said it was totally broken down when he uh, put it back there and he just never he completely forgot about it and he was like I said to him did you have any garden tractors or any old equipment on the place and he's like actually yeah I did have the uh, I did have that one garden tractor but I can't remember it's still back there luckily he didn't send it off for scrap because that thing's super cool and I want to actually fix that thing up from the looks of it it doesn't it looks like it can be fixed up so I we're gonna give it a try at least um, I at least have to get into the shop first because I think that'd be a sweet tractor to like plant a garden with or something. That was actually another thing I was considering on doing is planting a garden. But I didn't have a lawn tractor to do that. So I was looking for one and I was like, wait a minute. There's this one that he told me about. So we're going to go get it. Okay, where did this thing, where is this thing? Is it back here? I think it's back here. Uh, yeah, there it is. All right. This glass needs to be clean. Sheesh. All right, let's see if we can. Okay, so open up the grapple. Yeah, there. Oh, all right. Set it down. Okay. Uh, I'm curious how we're gonna get this thing out. I might have to attach a chain to the uh, grapple here, and then we'll uh, we'll drag it out. All right, we got a drug out. Okay, that. Okay, that doesn't look right. That looks perfectly mint. That that little. Uh, little piston there little hydraulic thing that looks perfectly that does not look rusted that's a little weird okay I, I think I, I I just won't ask questions but oh dude this thing's awesome I mean this was a fully this must have been a fully functional fully functional uh, lawn tractor at the time dude this thing's awesome I love this thing it's it's a little rusted out but, oh man, this, the tires are all crap. We're going to need to replace the tires for sure. The paint job's, like, just toast. But, it wasn't seized because I pulled it out. I, I pulled it out. Okay, let's see if we can, like, move it back and forth. Okay, yeah, yeah, okay, we're, we're good. We're good. It's not seized. It's not seized. I think I'm going to put it in the bucket. Okay, so I got to get on this thing and, like, turn the wheel so we can let... Oh, boy, that's a little stiff. That's just a little stiff. Okay, let's see if we can... Can we drag it over this way? Oh, man, that's a little heavy. Okay, I'm going to get on this thing and turn the wheel the other way. That way we can get it... We, I want to get it kind of, like, semi-straight. Okay. Eh. Okay, this this might be a little harder than I thought it was going to be. All right, I, I got it to there. Uh, I, I just kind of got to straighten back up the steering wheel. And then I got to open up the grapple here. And then we're going to stick it in the bucket. Okay, so there we go. Open that up. Okay, drive forward. I think this thing should fit in the bucket. Alright, so we got this thing out of here now. Now we just gotta take it to the shop. And hopefully we don't drop it, because I can't close the grapple on that, because that'll break the... That'll break the lawnmower, so I, I gotta be careful here. Oh boy, this is a little rough. 
I want to be careful. I don't want to break this thing because this thing is really nice. Well, it's not really nice right now, but we're going to try We're going to see what we can do. I, I know I can get new tires for this thing. I know I can pretty much get all new parts for this because I, I know a guy that has a bunch of these old things that's, uh, are never, uh, that were all, like, broken down like this one except just they have nicer parts. But I know I will have to get the, uh, most of the metal, uh, sandblasted for sure. I, because I think my grandpa would love to see this thing, like, restored. He would love to see it. Like, I sent him some pictures and stuff. All right. Let's see if we can pull this thing in here. All right. Just pull it right on in. Okay, let's see. Okay, I'm just going to try set it down here. Okay, there we go. We should just be able to set that down a bit better. All right, there we go. I, I think we got it now. We'll just back this out here. All right, that should be good right about there. Let's take a look at this thing. Now that's all, okay. Yeah, this thing definitely, this is, man, this is cool. This thing is awesome. Okay, so I need to probably wash this thing off for sure. And then, okay, is my, will my pressure washer? No, I'm gonna need to move this thing. Okay, I'm, I'm just gonna roll it out there. And this thing rolls pretty easily, that's surprising. I'm like I'm really surprised nothing's well it's in neutral but I'm really surprised nothing seized on it or anything okay we'll just roll it right back here yeah right about here should be good and then we'll give it a quick wash off here oh man that paint's just flaking right off all right I'm, I'm gonna say that's gonna be good and we're gonna roll it back into the shop here all right we're just gonna keep rolling this thing on back here it's not that hard to roll you just keep it going honestly all right we'll just Put this right back here. Okay, so I'm not gonna work on this today because we got lots of stuff to do. But here, okay, that's all. That, that's even faded and stuff. I don't know how this must be metal or something. It must not got rusted, but everything else did. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do over over the next like what are we gonna say? A couple weeks here. I'm just gonna get this thing stripped down, uh, get it down to uh, most of the just honestly the frame pretty much. I'll get all, I'll take the main body parts off, uh, get those to sandblasting, and then uh, we'll see what we can do from here. Uh, it's going to need new tires. I'm going to need to get everything sandblasted, painted, repainted for sure. Uh, probably going to need new hydraulics. Um, probably going to need a new, yeah, it's going to need a new lot of new stuff. Um, nothing seized as far as I know. Like I, I know this thing for sure won't start up like... I'll try even get on it and try start it like there's there's literally nothing there's literally nothing apparently there's some water in the field tank too so we're gonna have to drain that out but nothing is seized at least that's what I'm happy about because my grandpa was smart and turned the fuel line off so nothing got into the motor no water got into the motor which was, he was really smart about that so um we're gonna need to get a new seat too okay this thing's gonna need pretty much new everything so we're gonna see what we can do with this but we got a couple more things to do today so we're going to get to that. Actually, I'm just going to, yeah, I think I'll just, yeah, I'll just shut this. Can I shut this? Yes. Okay, I can. We'll, okay. Yeah, we'll just leave that there for now. And uh, we'll go back here and we'll shut this. We'll shut this over here. Now, I pulled the planter tractor out. This is what my grandpa said he used for planting. Now, a, a JD planter to a, to a case. Now, okay, a lot of you roasted me so hard in the comments about me calling this like a, a 50 72 or something 7250 all right case 7250 i know a lot of you roasted me so hard about that because i mispronounced the name but oh another thing another thing another thing i forgot i completely forgot to mention is that i went and got these seed tanks and fertilizer tanks and uh spray tanks installed here this week and i also got all the everything cultivated that we need cultivated all right so we are good to go we are full of seed and fertilizer i think we're gonna be planting okay apparently it's warm enough to plant some stuff i gotta figure out what we can plant before we actually get out into the field here uh what can we plant let me see what we can plant uh okay let's look at our ipad here what can we plant we can plant oats we can plant wheat we can plant barley Plants. So okay, we can't plant any of that. 
Alright. I think we're gonna plant some oats and some Oh, we can plant um canola. Okay, we may plant canola, depending. But I know we're gonna plant some oats and possibly some canola. So I think oats is gonna be for the start. Actually, this cedar doesn't even support oats. Alright, so fun fact, I talked to my grandpa and he said this is what he used for planting corn. And he sold it as other cedar that he uses to plant wheat, barley, oats, pretty much canola. He sold that one. He did not tell me about that. So, I need to go buy a new cedar. <laughs> oh no. That's what he used for planting corn. I didn't even think about that. I didn't even think about that. So we're going to go find a new Siri. We're going to go up to the dealership to see if they have anything for a new cedar. Alright guys, so I talked to the people at the dealership. They said they had a Great Plains planter there for us. So that's going to work for what we need. Uh, it's not the biggest thing, so we're just going to be leasing it. Until uh, we can get some bigger equipment. Possibly something for the four-wheel drive. Let's stop at the stop sign, of course. You know, there's literally no traffic in Alberta. No, I'm just kidding. There's lots of traffic in Alberta. For those of you who don't know, I actually used to live in Alberta. Not this. I used to live, like, the northern part of Alberta. Not this. Not where this is. I actually don't know exactly where this is, but... Yeah, this is more, uh... Less... A lot of less trees. Seems like. I don't know where this is... I know this is based out of some part of Alberta, but I don't know where. So, but anyway, so we're gonna go pick up that planter. Um, it's just gonna be a lease for now until we get something bigger for the four wheel drive. All right guys, so here's our Great Plains planter that we're gonna be using for the planting season. I think it should work pretty good. It's it's like 9.1 meters, so it, it should be enough. Like, it's gonna take us a while, but I think we're gonna do some corn possibly maybe not probably not yeah I'm, I'm guessing not but uh, we may we end up may getting uh, a bigger cedar for like sometime later for the four-wheel drive but for now I think this is what we're gonna be using to uh, get this done now I can't believe my grandpa sold that old I I talked to him and he said he sold the old cedar that he used to uh, seed that uh, it was like a cedar like this, and he that's what he used seeded uh, wheat, and barley, and canola with. And he ended up selling it because it was it had some problems. And I, I said, okay, but like I, I did want to plant that this stuff this year. And he was like, oh, okay, I guess I should have told you. And he was like, ah, oh, yeah. But anyway, we went and got a new one. We're good. I'm going to get a bigger one here soon, but this is going to work for now. Alrighty guys, so we got the cedar filled up with seed and fertilizer, and we're good to go out into the field. But if you guys are enjoying, please do drop a like. It really helps out the video. I know you guys absolutely loved, 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 loved the last video that I did. I got a lot of awesome comments on it from you guys, and it kind of blew up a little bit. So if you guys want me to continue this series... Please do drop a like. All right, so we're pulling out here into the field. I'm just going to quick give this an unfold. That way we're good to go for this one. And we can get working. I think I'm actually just going to drop it. Uh, right about here. Yep, I think that's going to work. All right, so we got the first little pass done kind of on the front there. But I'm going to time lapse this for you guys.
All right, guys, so we got that field finally planted. Uh, we planted it with oats, and probably over the next week or so, I'm going to probably get a new planter so we can get some more done. Uh, that way we can just direct drill, and it's going to be way easier to get that done. I'll probably get a bigger seeder for the uh, big John Deere four-wheel drive, and then uh, we'll get it done way, way faster. And uh, we're also going to start working on the case lawn tractor to get that all nice because I want to plant a garden this year so we can uh, use that tractor to rototill up a garden that'd be pretty sweet all right so we're just gonna pull the case up here and we're probably gonna pull that new Holland back inside that way uh, that's kind of all out of the way as well as probably that John Deere but man that case I still can't get over that case that's so awesome I'm, I'm so glad uh, my grandpa actually remembered where it was and uh, we were able to find it. it. It's really a cool little tractor, that's for sure. But if you guys did enjoy, please drop a like. If you guys want to see more barn finds and more stuff like this, I I don't want to make when I make these episodes, guys. I I want to make this a bit of a different series. The, my goal is is to do farm work on the side and make the main parts of the videos the cool stuff. Because the, there's literally we're already doing farming on the roleplay series like this. My goal is is to make each episode about something other than the actual farming itself. But if you guys are new, please consider dropping us a sub. And I will see y'all in the next one.